Hi, today I'm going to be showing you the mapping functionality of the iLife V7S Pro. Um, first, I'll just show you the water tanks of these two here. And I've already filled them up with water just to show you um, if it drips. And this is the new water tank of the V7S Pro here. Let me just pan this camera up and you'll see that it has this regulator here a, a gearbest calls this a pump that supposedly prevents water from dripping which i will see now if it drips um, i don't see any visible drips at least with this water tank detached from the robot and let's look at the water tank of the V7S. This is the first generation V7S. It doesn't have any regulator or pump here. I don't. I also don't see any visible drips here. And I'll be testing the mopping right now. And I'll attach the the mop onto the robot. Let me just move this camera here. And I'll just remove the the bin here and attach this water water tank. This is the bin and let me just attach this water tank here oh, before that I have to attach the I have to attach the microfiber towel microfiber bracket here this is the bracket that um, holds the mop microfiber mop and Can you, you can also use this you can also schedule the robot to mop and vacuum um, again it depends on it depends on what what is attached if the if the mop is attached then it will mop on it on its own but if the vacuum is attached the dirt bin is attached it will vacuum uh, vacuum on its own after you, after you set the schedule and the robot is trying to find its home base right now um, let me just attach this water tank here make sure you push it down and close it and I'll be right back just, I'll just set up the tripod. Okay, I have the tripod set up right now, and I'll turn on the robot. And I'll use this remote. Uh, just press the clean button here in the middle to turn on this robot in mop mode. Now, I'll be running this for maybe around three or four minutes just to see how how it does and. then let it sit for a while to see if the water will drip after if it will create a puddle of water now it takes a while for the mop to be um, to be saturated with water to be damp but if you want it to be damp immediately um, I would suggest that you pre-soak the water I pre-soak the mop in water. I think that would be the best way to go about this, especially if you're mopping a surface like tile. And you can also spray spray on cleaner on the mop so that it can it can um, it can clean. Now this is a demo, also a demonstration of the how the how the robot navigates with the mop attached it's uh, basically similar to the uh, navigation when it vacuums only the vacuum motor is turned off when you attach the water tank and the microfiber mop the robot detects it it has a sensor that detects it and shuts down the vacuum
Now the the mopping motion is not the same as a Brava where it it goes back and forth in a mopping motion. Um, this is different. So if you want that short mopping stroke, then you would go for the Brava. But this robot has a vacuum, so it, it, it's more versatile and it's cheaper. Though agitation is not as good as a Brava. It basically drags the, the mop on the floor. So this would be best utilized on a relatively clean surface where you just want to do your just want to mop it and rid of any light, light soils. I don't know if you can see this. The floor is um, already damp. This, that's the damp floor already, and the water is beginning to soak the mop underneath. The key here is um, when you stop the robot. If the water stops, the water flow stops. And I would suggest using distilled water. You could use also you could also use hot tap water if if you're cleaning a soiled area. Pre-soak the the mop the microfiber pad with hot tap water and spray on some cleaning cleaning agent to help dislodge any uh, stuck on dirt on tile. Again, this video is to show you how this robot navigates with the mop attached just to give you an idea you can also fill the water tank with cleaning solution depending on the surface you'll, you'll be cleaning but make sure it's not too thick or it may clog the the cleaning the posts where the water comes out where the liquid comes out at the bottom okay that's um then I'll stop it and let it sit for for a minute or so Now before I check the um, check on the robot, I'll just show you the flooring here, how it looks like, and you'll see that it there, there are parts that are still damp here, and if you if, if I if I move closer over here, these are the damp damp spots on the on the floor. Now. Gearbest says again you can schedule the robot to mop or vacuum and which is basically the same again it depends on what's attached if the bin is attached to a vacuum if the water tank is attached to a mop and okay I've let the robot sit for around a minute and 
I just want to see if it will create a puddle of water underneath. Um, I just want to see if the if the pump um, would stop the water from dripping down. And let me just remove this this robot here and show you what it looks like. Then if you can see it. It doesn't have a puddle of water, it's just damp here. And then if you can see it, I'll just give you a close-up look against the light. I don't see any puddle of water. And we just open this and see um, how it looks like here. And this is the again this is the water tank here. And and I, I'm checking if there's any drips coming out here. I'm not. Somebody asked in the first video how how this. I just read it now. How the pump works, and I'm not exactly sure how it works. Um. As you can see here, this this robot has a. Uh, this tank has this rubber thing here and if you look inside the if you look inside the robot if you look inside the this area here of the robot I don't know if you can see this but this area here it has a sensor here it has a sensor the robot has a sensor in this area here that sends a signal, probably sends a signal to the it's dark so you cannot see it. Probably sends a signal to the tank, to the pump to stop the flow of water. It's not electronic, it's completely, I think it's it's completely mechanical here. So um but the good news is it, it the good news is the water does not drip. It didn't create a puddle of water. Um, but I'll return. I'll put this water tank back and I'll leave it for a few hours. See if it drips. The water tank drips and I'll come back and report to you what I find out. Okay, the good news is the water tank isn't dripping and after a few hours um, the this microfiber pad was damp uh, obviously after the, the mopping session but as I've looked at this this water water tank this thing is actually not a pump there's no um, Gary Best calls this a pump but I think this is more it acts more like a valve here as I've um, studied it I try to figure out how it works it more it acts more like a valve a release valve here where air when there's air coming in water flows down imagine a, a milk box op opening your milk um, cutting open one hole on one side and cutting another hole on the other side of the box. This acts as a second hole that helps the flow of water. So if you look at this right now, if I do, do this, let me just turn this thing around. So if you, if I try to make this drip here, it does not drip. And basically it's like a, a valve. It's more like a valve. This thing works more like a release valve here. So if I do this, if I tilt the the water tank, it does not drip. It does not drip here. This this um this hose here um, um introduces air, and once air is introduced, the water drips down to both of these posts here. And I think I I, I mentioned that the thing here is a, is a is a sensor but I think it's not a sensor it's a the mechanism here inside the 
the robot is more like an air valve where it releases air I'm not exactly sure I'm just guessing so th that's how this water tank works it's it's a simple mechanism it's not electronic it's all mechanical so I hope this answers a question and another question is if this works in a in the old v7 I don't think this this will fit this water tank will fit in the old v7 but I don't think you would want to use this because if you put this inside um, there will be no air coming in and it needs air to release the um, for this for this to for it to drip um, and if you have any more questions about this V7S Pro mopping, um, please do send them in the comments below.